So tip four is about the use of mutes versus faders um, when you're shaping your dub mix in real time. And a lot of dub producers will just simply use the mutes to bring in and out the different parts to shape the mix. Um, but actually the old expression flying faders used to be, people used to use the faders a lot more to bring things in and out. And they're two very different kind of sounds. The, using a mute gives you a very, very sharp cut off. So you can do some very abrupt chops. Just using the mute button to bring it in and out. So it's a very staccato delay, which is great if you want a cutting mix. But actually sometimes you want something a bit more organic. You can use the fader to bring things in. So instead of getting that sharp abrupt, you get a... A more pad-like sound. And the, and the echo will behave differently if it's got a slow attack like that. So, faders and mutes are both great for different purposes.